Hey, my foodies and my cuties. It's your favorite home cook, Chef Boy RV. And welcome to another episode of Cooking with VTV. Hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Come on in. Let me invite folks. Uh, I'm inviting folks, you guys, so bear with me. I'm inviting folks. So bear with me. Hey, Mr. Tom, you can ignore my um, IG invite because I just invited you on IG also. But you can ignore it since you're on Facebook today. I'm just inviting some other people. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay. Let me invite some people on Facebook. Eat. No, I'm not eating what I'm cooking today. I'm actually fasting today. So I will not be eating it. I will not be eating it. Because I am on keto. But you know what? I might just... um. I, well, I did fast most of the day, so my fasting period is over, but I may just not smother some of these Salisbury steaks and just eat them plain with the green beans. So I may just eat what I'm cooking today, just maybe. But actually, I'm really not hungry, to be honest. To be honest, to be honest, to be honest. Hey, G Mama. Hey, IG, hey, Facebook. Hey you guys and welcome to Cooking with VTV. I'm your favorite home cook, Chef Boy RV. So I've already started this process, you guys, because it's going to take a minute and y'all know I don't like to be on longer than 30 minutes or keep you guys. So I just went ahead, I did already put my um, Salisbury steaks on. But um, for those of you that are new to my cooking lives, welcome, 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 welcome. This is my um, cooking platform. I have a cooking channel on YouTube, Cooking with BTV. I also host uh, um, cooking segments with friends of mine, which I have titled Cooking with B and Friends TV. And every Monday night uh, between 6 and 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I go live in my kitchen or in the kitchen of someone else or in my kitchen and in a friend's kitchen simultaneously on both IG and Facebook. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in and joining me live tonight on both my IG and my Facebook. And so I'm excited about tonight tonight's um, live session because I call it a black girl magic cooking hack because um, I found a really quick way to do uh, Salisbury steaks without having to go through the whole process of grinding up the, I mean, you know, the ground beef and making the patties and all that. So I've been um, frequenting, since quarantine, I've been frequenting my grocery store often, my favorite grocery store, Central Market, quite frequently. That's pretty much my everyday outing is what I do every day since I can't pretty much go anywhere else. So that's what I've been doing, going to the grocery store. And I've gotten really familiar with my butcher. Hey Juan, hey Gina, hey Carol, hey Keisha, hey Stevie, I've been missing you. What have you been up to? So hey everybody that has tuned into my live. So I've gotten really familiar with my butcher and he's begun to even do some things that he normally wouldn't do because I've asked him to. So we are quite good friends. Actually there are two of them over there that I've really become really acquainted with since this whole um, quarantine and cooking with V um, extravaganza. So what he did for me that was quite amazing is he started making sliders so he has some things that he puts in his sliders he calls them cowboy sliders so what i decided to do because my daughter asked me all the time like my um my um salisbury steaks are one of her favorite meals actually all of my kids love my salisbury steaks but i hate doing them and i don't do them often hey cousin um, who else is on here? Hey, Monica, out in California. So I don't do them often because it's such a tedious process, like getting the meat together, seasoning it, getting it to stick together and patting it out into patties, cook the patties, then make the gravy. But guess what, you guys? So 
in talking with my butcher, he has started making sliders. So, okay, if you guys went out to my previous videos and then my um, my promo video this morning and then my halfway through video when I did when I did a prep, then that information is on there. So he does like it's like maybe eight of small patties, like sliders, in a package. So he he did that. So what I decided to do was to take the hamburger sliders and turn them into drum roll, please. Salisbury steaks. So that way I don't have to patty the meat out and I don't have to do all the seasoning and all of that. So this is what I'm doing for you guys today. So I'm showing you the process of that and then I'm also going to show you my homemade gravy recipe. So if you guys watched my previous video, I showed you how I prepped my, um, my Salisbury steaks. I.e. air quotes you guys, air quotes, <clears throat> my sliders and how I get them ready. So I do do a little marinade beforehand. So these I've already put in. And yes, of course, they're gonna cook down, but I have more than enough to make this meal filling. And then too, with me doing keto, it also like, it, it, it helps you to do portion size too and portion control also. So if you guys can't see back there, this is my pot, um, pot boiling with my potatoes in it. So in my water, I have, um, and I did use a lot of water, you guys, just so you'll know. you know I'm kind of bougie that way. So I did, um, that's two bottles of bottled water. I did some um, whole garlic cloves, like maybe three or four cloves of garlic, and just a little bit of butter in there. So these right here should be about done, because I've already been cooking these before you guys tuned in. Can everybody see that? Facebook, can you see okay? IG, can you see okay? Let's see. Going over to Facebook. Okay, G Mama's going over to Facebook. I think you already did. If anybody else is tuned in, thank you guys for tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, thank you for tuning in to Cooking with BTV. I'm your favorite home cook, Chef Boy RB. Hey, Raven. Hey, Kelly. Okay, so you guys, so I'm going to take these out. These are about done. Well, they, they are done. In fact, I know, so I already have my pan back here so I can start draining the grease off of my um, my sliders, quote unquote, Salisbury steaks after they cook. And so, but if you don't want to do the sliders, you like the long process, then of course you can get some ground beef or ground turkey, whichever you choose. And I would do some um, Lipton soup mix, or onion soup mix. I won't say Lipton because you can use any kind you want. Me personally, what I do is I go to um, Dollar Tree because I found that at Dollar Tree, you get the most for your money. So you get three packets. Let me show you guys this. From the Dollar Tree, you get three packets of onion soup mix in this box for a dollar. Comes with three packets. So that's the best place to get them from. But I will take some ground beef or some ground turkey, ground chuck, whatever you decide, ground pork, ground lamb, whatever you decide to make your, um, your Salisbury steaks with. I will get that meat. I'm going to turn this back up a little bit. I will get that meat and I will season it with onion powder. I will season it with garlic powder. I will season it with pepper, a little bit of salt if you, if you like salt. And then I would do, or if you don't want to do that, you can just do the onion soup mix. But if you like extra seasoning, I would do all those plus the onion soup mix in my seasoning. And whatever other seasonings you like to have for your meat. It's because to me, Salisbury steak is like meatloaf with gravy. It's small meatloaf patties basically and essentially. So whatever you like to season your meatloaf with, minus tomato sauce, of course, then use that. But again, like I said, it's very easy to just use the onion soup mix because it has all those seasonings in it. And it's just there and ready to go. So I'm gonna check my potatoes to see if they are done. They're just about ready to be mashed. And you guys, so I don't have a hand masher, so I always use a blender to mash my potatoes. So in just a second, I'll show you guys how I do my potatoes. And then I also, if you guys watched my video earlier, I showed you how I, number one, marinate my sliders for Salisbury steaks. I used some, um, I showed you the seasons I used, which was 
Let me go back over that. I did pink Himalayan salt. And these I got from the Dollar Tree, you guys, for a dollar. I got this pink Himalayan salt from the Dollar Tree. I got this garlic pepper salt, uh, powder. Or it's seasoning, actually. It's seasoning. I don't know if it has salt in it. Let's see. It's sodium. It says... Uh, yeah, so it does have salt because it's, it's full of sodium. So maybe next time I won't use this. But I got this for a dollar. So I seasoned it with this. I seasoned it with the onion soup mix that I just showed you. And I also used a no salt seasoning, which if you guys watched that video, you saw that. And I actually got that from the Dollar General. I mean the Dollar Tree also. Dollar Tree, the green store. Dollar Tree. So I got this from Dollar Tree also for a dollar. And this one, you guys, has no salt, no sodium, no MSG, no calories. It's like zero on everything. So I would highly recommend this. Um, Keisha, if you're watching, hey, some other people have come on. Let's see. Hey, Dee Dee. Um, hey, Miss Sarita. Nicole. Hey, Shaka, I just met your sister for the first time when I went home to visit, um, to visit, and I met, saw her, I mean, saw Fontaine, and found out that your sister is married to him, so, so anyway, so that's a really good se uh, seasoning for people who are diabetic or have high blood pressure, you guys. Just wanted to put that out there, so I seasoned it with that, and then I soaked it in Worcestershire sauce for two hours, so I posted that video at four o'clock. I did that two hours before I started this live so we can have time to soak and marinate and get those juices in there. So, this is what this looks like after being soaked for two hours. So, this is going to be full of flavor, you guys. And again, earlier, if you guys hadn't joined, Mr. Tom, one of the people who encouraged me to start this cooking show during quarantine, him and a few other people kept saying to me, you need to start a cooking show, you need to do a cooking show. So thank you to Mr. Tom and the several other people that stayed on me about doing a cooking show because now you guys have this platform that you can come out and watch every Monday night to get some cooking tips and ideas and recipes to add to your cup, to your repertoire. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let those simmer and cook because they're just about done. I'm going to put that lid on there. And I'm going to start my green beans really quick. So, because once those... Um, once those patties get done, I'm going to start my gravy. We're going to do the gravy after that. So let me show you this green bean process. And what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit just to coat the pan. Because if you guys watched my video earlier, I had showed you guys how I marinate or how I pre-season my fresh green beans. I washed them and I soaked them in vinegar for um, maybe an hour. No, it wasn't even an hour. Maybe 30 or 45 minutes, I believe. And then, of course, that video is both on my IG, it's on my YouTube, and it's on my Facebook. So once I did that, I poured some olive oil into a bag. I put lemon pepper seasoning, this Greek cavender seasoning. I use this a lot. And this garlic pepper seasoning also. No salt this time. I think I used a little bit of olive oil. But if you go back and go out and watch that video, you'll see everything that I, that I put in there. But I'm going to let this get warm and spread that grease, olive oil, all around that pan. Let's see if it's warm yet. Probably not. And also, while I'm waiting on that to heat up, I'm going to go ahead and drain my potatoes. Because they are done. So I'm going to take these off of there. I'm going to turn that off back there. I'm going to throw that back in there. And I just realized when I got ready to cook you guys that I only have one stick of butter. So today, for my potatoes, I'll be using, I cannot believe, I can't believe it's not butter. Because I did not get butter while I was out at the store today. So, we have to improvise. I think somebody came to my house and cooked with me one time. And they used that. 
so I think that's why that's still here but I haven't used that in quite a while so I like a lot of butter in my potatoes I'm gonna also go ahead and put in some heavy whipping cream and then later I'll show you guys the secret ingredient I'm sorry Facebook you probably didn't see that let's see Hey, Miss Rita, Patricia, a bunch of people come on Facebook. All right, so let me turn that up a little bit. I forgot this was a smaller eye. So in this too, I'm going to put um, some garlic cloves in there for the green beans, you guys, because I like to, um, the garlic taste, the garlic flavor in my green beans. And I'm going to also put some onions in there because I like onion flavor in my green beans and let that saute a little bit. All right, now that that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of them off in there. And this is basically sauteing or pan searing the green beans. So again, if you guys have watched my lives before or any of my YouTube videos, you would know that I don't like my, my vegetables overcooked. So I like them cooked just enough to keep the nutrients in, um, to keep the nutrients and things inside. And I like them to have a bit of a bite to them. Okay. So see with the sliders also you guys, I'm going to put you back over there. So also with these sliders, they don't take as long to cook as, you know, um, the bigger size Salisbury steaks. So that's another plus to that. They cook faster, you get done with the dinner sooner. So I think today's video is going to go a little bit over 30 minutes probably today but those are just about done I'm gonna just let them cook on the other side so maybe another two or three minutes uh oh all right and so you see those green beans are starting to heat up and I'm just gonna like like really really quickly Toss those around in there, you guys, if you can see. I'm going to put a few more in there. And then the rest of those, because those were fresh green beans, since I washed them and seasoned them, what I'll do, and I'll take the rest of those, and I will freeze those, actually, you guys. I will freeze those. So I'm going to put those in a freezer bag and I'm going to freeze them. And I'm going to turn these down on low and let them simmer the rest of the way because I don't want them to burn. I'm going to switch back to there. I'm going to take these out because they are in fact done. No, actually they're not. I'm going to let them cook a little bit longer. And that's the one I'm going to keep for myself. You guys can see that on Facebook. Alright, so what I am going to do though is I'm going to mix these. My mashed potatoes. So if you guys can see this over here. Facebook bring you over this way I think you guys can see it let's see I do put you over there get you a little bit closer that should work think so so what I'm gonna do to my potatoes I'm going to add some sour cream. I'm going to add, let's see, some onion powder. 
some cavenders, you guys. Some cavenders. I love this stuff. And I'm going to also add some Parmesan cheese. In just a second here, I'm going to turn these down low so they don't burn. And then I'm going to take my butter. And I'm going to blend up my mashed potatoes. So whenever you don't have a master, you can also use your blender. So this is what I always do. I've always used my blender, actually. And I'm going to add some more heavy whipping cream to that. Just a little bit. I think all I have is a little bit left anyway. Make it a little bit more creamy. I'm going to add a little bit more butter. Or I can't believe it's not butter. And add more Parmesan cheese. So we're making garlic Parmesan mashed potatoes. And add a little bit more garlic and pepper. All right, so those are pretty creamy, you guys. All right, got those whipped up pretty creamy there. See that Facebook? Ooh -ooh. All right, so I got that part done. Now I'm gonna move back over this way so we can take out the, let's see. All right, we're gonna take out these because they are done. And they did cook down small. They did, they did, they did. Now I'm going to show you the process of my gravy. All right, you guys. So we're just about done. And then you see my green beans are cooking nicely with the garlic. And the onions, and remember they were pre-seasoned. I let them, I let them um, sit in the seasoning for a while, you guys. So you don't, I don't need to add any more seasoning to them at all. Now let's start this gravy process. Okay. So for the gravy, hold on, let me clear some of this out of my way. You guys know I'm so particular about my kitchen being clean. And since I've been doing cooking with me, I've acquired so many new seasonings and stuff that I'm actually going to have to reconfigure my seasoning cabinet. All right, so I'm going to pour some of this grease off of here because I don't use grease to make my gravy like a lot of people do. I actually use um, I actually use the butcher. So that's why I was saying I had one stick of butter left, and I'm going to use that for the gravy. But I'm still going to make it in this cast iron skillet. So give me a second. I need to scrape some of this off. And it makes it easy because I have a scraper. I don't know if you guys have seen these before at Walmart. These are really handy with scraping your pans. Because it gets the stuff right off the bottom really, really quick, you guys. So see? See how quickly that works? All right. Don't leave, you guys. Don't leave. Don't leave. All right, so what I'm gonna do in that pan, I am gonna put a little bit of the grease back in there just to give it flavor because it has the flavor from the um, 
the flavor from the Salisbury steak, so I am going to keep a little bit of it. And I'm going to continue to stir these green beans up as I as they continue to saute and cook. Ooh. I'm going to let that melt. I'm going to pour just a little bit of that back in there. Notice because this is a glass bowl, this is very hot. Ooh, very hot, very hot, very hot. And then, too, that helps with um, getting the, that's going to help with getting the gravy to be brown. Okay, and I'm not going to turn that up really high. Next, I'm going to take some flour. Can you guys see that on Facebook? I want to make sure you're seeing that. I'm going to take some, oh, my Facebook camera wants to leave. Take some flour. And I'm going to stir that. I'm going to throw some onions in there too because I like onions in my gravy. Lots of onions. And then the rest of the garlic, I want garlic flavor in my gravy. Okay. I'm going to stir that and let it burn, and let it get brown. I want it to get really brown. I should have cut up that other bowl of cloves of garlic. And in the meantime, I'm still stirring my green beans, sauteing them. You guys see them? Facebook, I don't think you can see my green beans. And just so you guys know, my energy is kind of low today. School started back last week. It did. And, um, yeah, I've been doing homework all week and all day today. So I'm taking a geology class. Which I took last year. I took geology um, 1403 last year and went to Hawaii. So this time last year I was in Hawaii. So I said I would do follow up and do the 1405 class because I need it for my degree program. So I'm doing that now. I'm also going to season this with just a little bit of salt because I'm going to use some... Um, beef stock for flavor as well. So that's the liquid I'm going to use this beef stock for the gravy. Y'all know I'm constantly cleaning as I go. And that's going to help to thin my gravy out so it does not get thick. And, I'm sorry, Facebook, y'all can't even see my bad. And I'm going to continue to pour that beef stock in so that it thins out. And I'm going to keep stirring it and keep stirring it. And I'm also going to keep an eye on my green beans. Now, see me, I like these green beans just the way they are, probably just like that. So I'm actually going to try them. You know, I actually can cook a little bit longer. We even fresh fresh. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper, this garlic pepper, to my gravy. Fresh, fresh. 
And then too, sometimes you guys, like I didn't get any mushrooms today. I meant to get some mushrooms while I was in the store, but I didn't. But then too, I'm not eating the gravy. The kids are, and they don't really like mushrooms. So that's another reason. But I was gonna get some just to show you guys that you can add mushrooms to the gravy. I actually could have got a big thing of beef broth. I was scared that if I would have gotten the bigger one, it would have been too much. But I actually could have gotten a bigger one. And that would have been just fine. But that's essentially the gravy recipe. And whatever other seasonings you want to add to it, of course, and whatever other flavors you want to do, you can do with my gravy. I just keep it simple. I'll just keep it as simple as possible. And again, you guys know that I like to use fresh um, herbs and spices to season my things. So then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to put these back over in here. And let them cook the rest of the way. And yes, I did use my hands because it's my kitchen and my food and the people here. that are, I'm going to eat that one. Because yes, I have not eaten all day. And this is my fasting time. And then, too, this helps, too, because it's smaller portions and it fits in the gravy better. Like, it's just better all around to use the sliders. That was so easy. Okay, so it's like 634, so that really, I didn't really go over that long. And honestly, you guys, I only started cooking, like, maybe, maybe not even 10 minutes before I brought y'all on live. Maybe five minutes, I think. And I'm going to fill this up with water. This beef stock. And add some more to that. So that gravy can cover the meat. And that's my Salisbury steaks, you guys. So quick, so easy. I'm gonna put this over there and let that simmer the rest of the way. Oh my God, the gravy is yummy. Okay. I'm gonna let that simmer the rest of the way. Mmm, that's so yummy. Okay, so that gravy is everything, y'all. And I'm not just saying that because it's me. Because I will honestly tell y'all, it took me forever to learn how to make gravy, like literally forever. Like, I honestly just learned this year. And it was my best friend, Kimmy. Kimmy on Facebook. Latasha. She, like, my grandma was trying for years to teach me how to cook gravy, but I could never get it to be brown. Like, it kept being white. And I'm like, dude, I don't want, like, biscuits and gravy. I want gravy to go over my meat to smother my meat. And so, Tasha showed me the perfect way to do it with the beef stock or the chicken stock, whatever food I'm cooking. So if I'm smothering chicken, I'll use chicken stock. And when I'm smothering pork, like I did pork steaks one day, I did vegetable stock. So instead of water for pork, I use vegetable stock. And for my chicken, I use chicken stock. And then for my beef, I use beef stock. So that makes it so much better for me, you guys. I'm going to pull the cameras up so you guys can see my face because I'm done. And so I will come back afterwards. I will plate it. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on a plate. I appreciate you guys tuning in today to Cooking with V TV. I'm your favorite home cook, Chef Boyar V. Um, next Monday, I don't know what I'm cooking yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'll have a guest yet. I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be back on next week. Um, so, I'm taking two classes right now. i got another class, the second part of summer semester. So I'm hoping that my schedule is not so very rigorous. Y'all can see the background where I done made this whole mess back here. Great. So um I'll come back. I'll show you guys the plated um the plated afterwards. I will not be coming back and doing a part two live because I have homework to finish up and I have to post before 11:59 tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this segment of Cooking with VTV. I'm your favorite home cook, Chef Boy RV. Go out to the live. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cooking with VTV. Um, follow me on IG, Chef Boy R underscore V. Like and follow my Facebook pages, you guys. So Salsa by V has started back, has started back up its simple operation right now. I'm simply waiting for... Um, 
I'm waiting for labels to come. So my Kansas City people, my Texas people that have ordered, and my people, I got people in like three, three different states that were new customers that asked for orders, but I didn't have labels. I didn't want to send my product out without labels. So once my labels get in, I will be shipping out. Hopefully that will be sometime next week. So that will start back. So like my Salsa by V Facebook page. I don't have a Salsa by V IG page. But my Salsa by V Facebook page. My Cooking with VTV. I'm your favorite host. I'm your host, Chef Boyer V Facebook page. Like, follow, share, share, share. Share my videos, you guys. Invite others to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, please, please. And thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful evening. Until next Monday. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to Cooking with VTV. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cooking with VTV. Follow me on IG, Chef Boyard underscore V. Thumbs up, like, share my videos, and I'll see you next time.